Hello, I'm Posey, and today I'm going to be talking about Ami Ken Torren's work, Received Wisdom, which was made in 2006 and which inspired the exhibition named after the work at Sunderland Museum and Winter Gardens. So what we're looking at is a plastic folded chair with a small table attached like you might find in a college or a university. The artist has replicated the board over and over and piled them all up on top of the original table so that the sculpture becomes over six foot tall. These extra boards aren't fixed but balance on top of the original so the work appears to defy gravity and would topple over if the chair wasn't fixed to a weighted plinth. In the gallery space we had to be extremely vigilant to make sure it was safe for our visitors so there's plenty of space around the work and barriers to stop anyone coming too close. I was able to see this work before it came to Sunderland in the Arts Council Collection offices in Yorkshire with the Art Champions who were a group of people from Sunderland who wanted to find out more about the Arts Council Collection. I remember feeling pretty stumped by this work until we'd had a conversation about it so I hope that this video helps open up this work to you. So the chair and the desk are really recognisably from a place of study, an educational institution of some kind. Somewhere where you learn about theories and ideas and knowledge from those who came before you. And one of our champions I think it was Manashi who's still at school she said she felt like the boards represented all of her school books all of her school work and because they're they're kind of piled up so high and so precarious that you couldn't use this desk for its original function anymore so for our champions they felt like this piece was about the weight and pressure of living up to expectations of having so much work to do that you're unable to do any of it and of feeling stopped in your tracks because of what has come before you. When I was studying fine art at university, a lot of the time I really felt the pressure of having to make work that was so self-aware of all the artwork that's ever come before it. Um, contemporary art can be really hard to define but it's often characterised by the way that artists use ideas from all around the world, from across schools of thought and different cultures. And contemporary artwork is often interpreted in relation to ideas and artworks that precede it. So in the art world, it's really commonly understood that nothing can really be original. And if you're putting something out there into the world, you have to understand its connotations and associations. And for me, I feel like this artwork is highlighting or exposing that problem that artists face all the time. What's your interpretation of this artwork? Let us know in the comments below.